controlled recklessness. And that might be a strange way of stating this, but there has to be in the athlete a certain recklessness. Now, let me show you how this works. You go out and you practice for days with some phony motion you're working with, some fake swing. And you finally say, I'm going to go back to my old swing. And I'm just going to just, after you're about five or six over par, you know, you suddenly just let it fly. That hasn't happened to you very often, has it? You suddenly say, the hell with everything. You know, I'm just going to let it fly. Well, there's a certain recklessness here. There's a certain abandon, abandon of, of, of a procedure. Whatever the hell you want to call this thing. There's a, a, a recklessness that the good player has. And Doug Ford used to explain it, that he is very aware of everything, but when he starts his swing, he doesn't give a shit. And, and that's probably uh, another way of saying it. That's the way he phrased it. And that's pretty much what a controlled recklessness is. 